Hi, this is Lisa with Creative Canines at Blogspot.com for Paper Maniac for the Copic Club lesson for January. Happy 2011. We're going to look at uh, My Guy Ian, which is a, the greeting farm stamp that Patty has in her store. And we're going to focus on a technique of coloring blue jeans. Now, blue jeans are some of my favorite things to wear and also sometimes a bane of my existence to find some that fit just right and they're comfortable and that don't have that really low rise at my undies show every time I bend over. I do not know how the younger girls do that. Well, Ian has, and I, I can't do the mom jeans either. I don't know. It's a very, it's a very tight line to walk when you hit your 40s. You can't wear those low cut ones with the zippers are about an inch high. And then you can't wear the mom jeans because then they make you look too old. It really is quite frustrating jeans. Now, jeans with Copic markers, oh, so much easier. So we're going to use some markers that we've had in past um, kits. And, and my favorite combination is B97, B95, and B93. Now, I would suggest, I mean, if you're going to, you're, you're going to be getting stuff from Patty anyway, here's my suggestion. Go ahead and purchase the B91 and B99. Why? Because you can do every jean from your lightest blue jean to an acid wash with all these colors. And it's nice to have the B99 for the shadowing, and it's super nice to have the B91 for the highlights. And then these other colors are just such a nice gradation of color that you will not be sorry you purchased them. So let's go ahead and look at, let's look at this. I'm going to have my color, my light source come from overhead, so that's going to impact my coloring in certain ways. One, the jacket's going to throw in a shadow onto my blue jeans, so I'm going to take that into account and add a little bit of shadowing here from my B99, as well as that pocket's going to be a little shadowed in there, and because these jeans on the bottom are the farthest away from the light, they're also going to be the darkest. So I'm going to add just a little bit of color here to add a little bit of contrast on his legs. And also up here, now his legs are more of a rectangle. Um, I would call them like a tube rectangle. Why that is important is because when you are coloring a tube, the outer sides are darker, which allows them to the roundness or fullness of the leg. We're going to go in with the B97 now and blend in with that. Just making sure that we're blending into every place. We add the darkest color, the B99. We add the B97. Now these colors blend in so beautifully together that it's really almost effortless. And I'm using the Nina for this, but on the Express It, oh my word, you will not regret it. I'm telling you what, I, I, I cannot believe how wonderful that Express It is. Once again, I'm coloring in the lighter color here. Now there is a special little technique to this. And I will show you. It's pretty cool. I, I kind of devised it myself. <laughs> Do a lot of these things. I don't know. Like, I'm the kind of person who likes to to dream things, or I'm in the shower and think about things, or driving. I'm I'm kind of a problem solver that way. Putting in my B93 now. This is I love to have the strong highlight right in the middle. Adding in that B91 color. And once again, even the lightest color. And these colors don't seem to push as much as the other colors do. They're a little bit closer in, in range here. Now, the beauty thing is, is that I'm going to go back over and just use just the side of my marker to blend in just a little bit with my B93. The beauty part of this whole thing is, is that it's a very forgiving technique. Now I'm going to use my colorless blender. And I kind of go back and forth along the top with it, just kind of in a tapping motion, and I get a little bit of a distressed look. It'll let that dry. Um, if you want more around the knees, you can do more around the knees. All right, now look at the other side here. We're gonna add in the dark, the same place we did before, a little bit underneath there, because it's shaded it a little bit in the pocket, the pocket's shaded on the sides because his legs are tubes and we know that when shading a tube that the darkness goes around the sides in order to um, trick the eye into thinking that this is actually a rounded shape. Going in with my B97 now, 
<clears throat> blending into that B99. Once again, you know, most guys are into the darker blue jeans. You know those, um, although my husband bought this pair, I mean, between you and me, of the most ugly jeans I've ever seen in my life. Um, they were super, 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 super light. They almost verged on white, and they never went with anything. His legs always looked like a separate part of his body, and he wore them to paint in, and I have to say I was grateful when he ruined them. I offered to buy him a new pair. Now he's in a darker wash. He also bought a pair of white bicycle shorts one time, and, you know, I will spare you that story, but it wasn't pretty either. Um, had the poor man never got married, I don't know how he would address himself. His, his mother would have had to keep doing it. Very sweet guy, but oh my goodness, his, his choices are interesting. All right. Hopefully none of you know him. <laughs> okay, adding what's in to help blend in with my B93. Not worrying too much. I'm not going to fuss around with it too much. I'm going to do my tap technique back and forth with my colorless blender, adding in... Um, images of distress here focusing a lot towards the middle why because the middle jeans are a little bit more distressed than the sides also it has adds in our, our deep highlight that we're looking for now here's the other thing if you're interested in doing those you know those whiskery things that, that everyone has on their jeans now you if you had more of a jean top you could do that there we go. Now, I did something on purpose here so you can see. Now, okay, I went a little wild with my colorless blender. Okay, now what do I do? I just go back in with the side of my marker with my B91 and blend that in a little bit. It's a very easy process. And I'm going to go in with my B95 here a little bit, just help blend this in a little bit more. And now, if I've done that and I've covered up too much of that distressing, I can go back over with my colorless blender and add some more in there. Now, you may find, like, like you do here on the shoes, that you're going to have a little bit of bleeding. That's okay, because you know most of the shoes are either black or brown, and those colors will definitely cover up this blue. So I hope that was helpful for you, a lesson on blue jeans. Thank you, and have a great month.